So good morning, guys. It's a big mic here. Doing a coffee in the morning. So where I'm at, I am in the park close nearby where I live in Spain and uh, life is good it's early um, not super early but it's early for me uh, I had a long day yesterday so today I slept in a little bit but it's all good a little coffee for the working man on holiday so what happened yesterday uh, a lot happened yesterday it was a very full day with the, lots of fun. Uh, in the morning it was uh, uh, the playa. It's an amazing beach here. Uh, fantastic uh, water, sand, everything. So it was the playa and then I go up, did my morning routine before working out. Uh, then I travel to Benidorm to Power Gym where you see some flexing and some working out and uh, had a pretty good workout. I left the smile outside the door and uh, just entered the beast mood and uh, yeah it worked great. I did my squats, I did uh, everything that I should do and uh, the workout was 2 hours and 10 minutes. Uh, I was totally drained after, it took um, about 3 liters of water. So uh, that workout it was great, you know. Uh, I had the carb loading day before, so uh, the body filling up very good and now I'm back to zero grams of carbs um, I do not count vegetables in the form of um, living vegetables I don't count them so that it's uh, zero carbs and low fat high protein I will hit about 300 grams of protein today so that is what's happening every day uh, till next time it's time for working out then the day before I go uh, high on carbs uh, it works amazing uh, it, it uh, fills you up in an unreal way um, you can almost uh, <coughs> almost uh, say it's uh, as potent and powerful as uh, any gear uh, the difference you feel uh, from day to day and suddenly that day your glycogen are totally loaded and you get the pump just by squeezing your hands you see the veins popping and everything so it's amazing if you do the carb loading correctly and uh, I working out and I noticed that the effort in the gym around me is not where it should be to make working out fun I can see that in two hours and ten minutes nobody was squatting maybe it's the temperature here in Spain that makes people don't like to push themselves over the limit of course there are people who are hard workers but you know it was pretty big gym and um, I did not see a single one push it to close to the limit in two hours and ten minutes. Not a single one. Um, and that is not good, guys and girls. That is not good. I did not push myself very much to the limit, but uh, the squats and the, sorry for you that counted my squats. You said it was 17 repetitions and I said 20, but no, it was 19 in the first set. I cannot believe I counted wrong because I count them 5, 5, 5, 5. But yesterday I counted 5, 5, 5, 4. Maybe I'm getting senile. That makes the working out easier. Anyway, I did 5 sets of 20 with a 220 
on the bar so that drains you pretty good and when they, that is finished I drink water catch my breath refocus and did the rest of the body full body so uh, with pretty high intensity I can say I rest less in my last set after two hours and ten minutes than anybody in the gym and uh, and this is not a way to say oh Mike you are so great you're amazing how hardcore you are no I am in the giving it about 60% of my effort 60 to 70% uh, I do as good as I can but it's nothing to write home about it's just that the competition I call it competition in the gym are uh, not where it should be it should be higher it should be more uh, more um, intensity more passion that is what I miss and I look around I don't see the passion I see a lot of music a lot of social media a lot of cell phones and earplugs but I don't see any passion uh, I think it's sad because the sport I love the sport that been with me for all my life almost in some way that's given me so much uh, it don't get what it deserves when you don't do that sport to the fullest it's only when you're working out and uh, you remember that this is more for you guys but of, I think but I cannot say how it was for girls but you remember guys when you were young 13 14 15 16 in the puberty and you were feeling your body changing you getting bigger stronger uh, you could eat all day and you want to sleep and and you that, and if you did something you have amazing energy uh, that feeling of the body is boiling inside uh, it's changing like every cell is in beast mood and react all the time a little bit of that is what you should feel when you're working out hard you should put your body back to changing mode making those cells vibrate again of energy you should wake up and feeling oh my god I feel all my muscles and I see veins uh, something changing this was not the way I looked yesterday and that is what should be like after a good workout uh, probably most never remember last workout next week uh, a good workout should stay you in your memory for life you should be able to pick out something from that workout for the rest of your life if it was uh, like a hundred percent effort because that would make such a big impression on yourself you should be happy to be alive after it um, that is when you're pushing it to the limit so you noticed the, the, the passion for working out it is still in my in my heart a sip of coffee for the working man uh, what else happened? Yeah, that was uh, my working out in Benidorm. After that, I go down downtown in Benidorm and did some shopping. Yeah, looking in, in, you know, they they have lots of like small stores there. And uh, I was walking about a little bit, and then I go home. Jumped in the taxi, put on the GPS. That is something you can do now in Spain, please guys. Uh, put on the GPS and just show the driver that you are no idiot because they always try to screw you over now these days. It was not like this before the uh, COVID, but now they are probably in the worst shape economic, so everybody try to make a penny here. Uh, this is a little bit new for me because Spain was pretty laid back, but it is what it is. Everybody chasing the green stuff. This taxi driver uh, driving and he was uh, supposed to take a right turn in a roundabout. And I see he didn't uh, give the signal. He has to continue almost uh, like planning to continue straight. 
and I see the GPS that that road was seven minutes longer. So I asked, no, 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 senor. This is not my first ride, you know. So you take a left, to take a right here. So then we don't have anything to disagree about. And I show him the GPS. Oh, sorry, no, no problem, no problem. And this is, was a man in his 60s. Yes, it was. And I'm thinking, if I was in my 60s and I needed to screw people over for a few, uh, for, for a couple of hours, and look in my in the mirror when I come home at night, I would look and stare and say, "What the fuck, Michael? Is this what you become? Is this what you supposed to do in life? Is this what you are capable of? Is this all?" Try to make a couple of euros on people? A grown, full up grown man? No, I would not be happy about looking in my eyes in the mirror. Absolutely not. I will be ashamed of myself. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I think it's like this. The earlier you understand, you go up early every morning, you push it to the limit in everything, not only in working out, in works, in uh, life, with family, with relationship. You give it your all. You don't sit back and just let life pass by. Watching the TV, getting lazy, no energy. No. Every fucking second or minute and hour of the day. You push it to the limit. You do as good as you can. Okay. Of course, some days you not have that energy. You need a break. You take that break. But you rebound, come back even stronger. So, when somebody say, "Oh, you 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 are so good in uh, what you're doing. How can you how can you have so much energy?" I don't have it. I take it. Energy, positivity, it's not something you have, you take it. You tell yourself, today I'm gonna be happy. And you make this guy pulling the but push, pushing the buttons up there. You put on the smile on the face, he makes your hormones uh, produce happiness, and the energy guy firing up the fireplace. And when you're feeling tired, you are thinking, ah, this is just my laziness dying. So you keep on pushing, guys. Every day you're pushing, you get a little bit better. So I think that is how you not need to screw people over for a couple of dollars or euros when you're 60 years old. That is what I think. It's just Mike rambling, but... Uh, Sometimes there is a little bit of truth in what I say, I think. Sometimes. So that was the taxi, taxi home. So then I stopped at the vintage shop. The vintage shop that I have so much big hope for. <laughs> I was, uh, that, that shop was, if you've seen the movie with uh, Stephen King, uh, that uh, where everybody can buy the items where they lost or missed when they were young. In Swedish they call it Kjöplus, what, the, what is the name of the movie? I don't know, but if you Google it, the, it is a movie, uh, anyway, a horror movie, where uh, the devil opened the store. And the store contains everything you ever dreamed of for you personal. The jacket, the bike, the, the doll, the, the knife, the, 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 everything that you ever dreamed of that you, was your favorite that you never get, he has. And you can get it for a very cheap price in money, but the high stake is your soul. And that store was my devil store, you know. 
I was thinking, oh, they have amazing stuff inside there, must have, because it looks so nice from the outside. And uh, yesterday I went there, but it was closed. It's uh, open between eight and three. So, but I looked inside and uh, I can say I will not sell my soul there, no, because it was mostly candlelight holders and uh, some old mirrors and uh, pots. It was not so much nice things. And some of the stuff there was not vintage. It was like a made in China yesterday stuff. I cannot believe how disappointed I was. <laughs> but I was also smiling a little bit and thinking, yeah, yeah, maybe I should never look, maybe I should never visit this place. Just have it as, oh, that store, that was, that is probably amazing. But anyway, so I will not uh, do anything there, but then I went to the whiskey store. And you, you see the movie uh, I put out, the video I made from that maybe? Uh, that little whiskey store with a lovely lady, with an amazing lovely lady there. She don't talk any English, but me habla poquito español. <laughs> so um, we, we managed and she's amazing. She's so kind, so warm, so passionate about her little store. And she's so happy when you make interest and give her like a compliment for that store. Uh, it's just a nice place to be at and she, it is actually a few bottles of nice whiskey there too, you know. Some bottles have been there for a very long time, especially the expensive ones. They just standing there collecting dust. So I'm going to go back today after I done uh, lots of Googling about the bottles. I took picture of everyone and the prices also. So I'm going to Google search them and see if I can make some more founds there. I bought a 20 year old one. That was pretty good. It was uh, about 110 US dollars and the prices on eBay for that one was uh, 220 plus shipping. So it was more than half price. Mm -hmm. So that was that, and after the uh, whiskey store, uh, went back, showered, needed absolutely after working out and shopping. Uh, then it was the proteinas, lots of proteinas in form of tuna, and uh, after the tuna and cheese, uh, just relaxed a little bit. I have not slept so much on the daytime here, uh, you know, I want to take care of the time, so th that is that. But when I come home, I really gonna do the, the midnight, uh, the daytime nap again. It's so refreshing, absolutely. And I miss my cars a little bit, but and otherwise, life is so good here. It is really is. So after that, it we went out the family to uh, find a dinner place, and we were eating. And, um, you know, just enjoying ourselves a full uh, evening outside, eating great food. I ate uh, mixed grill yesterday. It was uh, beef, it was lamb, it was uh, chicken, uh, all the good stuff, the meat group. <laughs> and vegetables, of course. So, uh, yes, and today, no, we don't go there yet. Then we go home, we play the lots of cards. And then the, the eyes start to get tired. So, yeah. Then I was checking a little bit my emails and uh, did some work uh, and um, starting to adjust my workout uh, pro schedule, my workout program. So, I will tweak it a little bit because I noticed now uh, my shoulders are so good now, so I can start uh, not bench pressing. I do that a little, little already, but uh, no, I can do uh, standing uh, uh, dumbbell curls. Uh, haven't for a long while, so I put in those again. Not heavy, but uh, five sets of 20 I'm gonna put in. That gives you extreme pump with a good form, you know. I do that. When I do light dumbbell curls, I do 
them both at the same time. When I go heavy, then it's one by one arm at a time, and I try to do with the stop on the to top. Yeah, no swinging because it hurts my shoulder too much if I start doing that. Of course, it works to swing them. Don't be, uh, don't think less. You know. Yeah. I can say if I can do, uh, how do you say, 30 labs, uh, uh, 30 35s uh, with a good curl on the stop, or you do uh, 40. Fifties uh, or fifty-fives or even sixties by swimming, swinging. Of course, that is more effective. You get much more muscle uh, attraction and much more uh, soreness and much more growth from that. Uh, that's uh, not the question. Mm? I noticed an another thing uh, that was a little bit funny. You know how much it costs if you are, have a dog here in Spain and uh, he pees on the bench, government bench. Then you get a fee for uh, 800 euros. It's 8,000 Norwegian crowns or eight, 800 US dollars. Uh, so that dog should never go near a bench in Spain. Just so you know if you have a dog here. Be careful, guys. So, yeah. That is, uh, I think, everything I had for this coffee in the morning. Be nice, be great. I, I No, that is not all. Absolutely not all. Uh, today, I will have a long walkabout. We're planning to go from Villa Llosa to uh, Benidorm, maybe. At least we try, or uh, we'll see how the weather uh, is uh, developing. We, we will have a long power walk walk about and uh, for three four hours that is good to burn some fat getting some jacked and uh, after that it's the ocean bathing 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 the same tomorrow bathing 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 uh, I'm not gonna work out here anymore until uh, the next workout is on Saturday when I come home then it's deadlift the power day looking forward to that uh, and least but not less important maybe the, yeah not maybe this is the most important announcement for today you guys girls amazing uh, you subscribe me you comment me you write me I cannot I don't know what I can do to to give anything back to you. Uh, I put out my videos and I really feel appreciation. Um, I try to give you positive words and uh, positive love from me uh, and uh, spread uh, good vibes. That's all I can do like this. Um, but you dis really deserve to hear from me. You follow me and you comment me and you, do you don't know me but you give me so much positive feedback and everything I cannot believe how many amazing people there are, are out there you know uh, I really hope that everybody around you are kind against you uh, give you the positivity that you really deserve back and uh, I read everything you read you, you you read to me and every new subscriber i go in on your page checking and see if i can if you have a video there i say i send thank you for subscribing me uh, and uh, i love to interact with you and i i am honestly interested in every one of you so that is all about that for big mike be great big smile hope stranger smiles back Live life, love life. Over and out from Mike.